Okay, this review is scientific notation. Um, it's pretty easy. Some of you may or may not need to watch the whole thing. You may only want to watch maybe one slide or two slides of it. But I'll go through the different practice problems uh, or the review problems so that you can see how it's done. Okay, so for the first one, um, I'm going to show you how to do it with the EE button and then with parentheses. So you're going to take, ooh, I guess it would help if I wouldn't do that. 1.65. Then you're going to hit the EE button on your calculator and negative eight. And then you're going to hit the times button. And then you're going to put 5.66. Hit the EE button, negative seven. And when you do that, you get 9.34 times 10 to the negative 15. Now, what it shows up on the calculator, it's going to look like this. 9.34 whatever digits. It goes to whatever digits, and then it's going to say E negative 15. Remember, on the calculator, that E stands for times 10, okay? So that's what these EEs, that's the reason why it looks a little different. When you put it in the calculator, it's going to be 1.65. You're going to hit the EE button, but on your screen, it's going to come up with E probably negative 8, okay? That E means exponent. That means times 10. Now, if you don't have that EE button, if you have a scientific calculator that doesn't have it, and I'm not really sure what's out there. So I guess if you're using your phone as a calculator, it may or may not have it. If you've got the right program in it, then you need to use parentheses. And then it's going to be 1.65. You're going to hit times 10 to the negative 8, however your exponents do it. But you're going to first put the parentheses. You need to put parentheses that and then this, and then another parenthesis, and 5.66 times 10 to the minus 7. And really, the parentheses are more important with dividing, but just to get you in the habit of using those parentheses, if you don't have the EE button, please use it. And when you do that, you hit enter, and you get that answer. Okay, so this one, well, it's actually typed out in parentheses. This is exactly the way you want to put it in the calculator if you don't have the EE button. If you do have the EE button, you're going to do 6.626, hit that EE button, negative 34, hit the times button, 4.62, hit the EE button, 14. And when you do that, you get 3.06 times 10 to the negative 19. Okay, now on this one, this is the one where those parentheses matter if you do not have that EE button. So in your calculator, you're going to be typing out parentheses 3 times 10 to the 8th. Now notice I didn't put 0 .00 because your calculator does not need that 0 .00 to do the calculation. So in parentheses, then you're going to hit that divide by button. You're going to have to hit the next parentheses button. 3.94 times 10 to the negative ninth, and then hit that end parenthesis button. When you do that, you get 3.06 times 10 to the negative 19. Now, if you have the calculator with the EE button on it, it's going to be 3 EE8, hit the divided by button, 3.94, hit the EE button, negative ninth and you get the same answer. So if you don't have a calculator with that EE button, you will definitely want to get it before unit three because we do light equations and it's everything is in scientific notation and it just makes life so much easier if you're not having to put those parentheses in there, making sure you put the parentheses in there. Oh shoot, I got to redo it because I forgot to put the parentheses in there. It makes life a lot easier. So if you have, if you do not have a calculator, a scientific calculator with that EE button on it, please get one or get a program. I think they've got programs that you can add to your phone um, that have that in there. Okay, last one. And this one, I am not going to do the parentheses part because just remember, you have to put parentheses around everything. So this is going to be 1.99 EE negative 25 divided by 2.04. E, E, negative 9. And when you do that, you get 9.75 times 10 to the negative 17th. Now, all of these had answers that 
the calculator already put into scientific notation. I'm going to do one more here where the answer on your calculator will not come up in scientific notation and you have to put it into scientific notation. So I know this isn't on your review sheet, but you may want to pay attention to the next slide. Okay, for this one, we have 1.2 EE -E, negative 5, hitting the times button, 3.8 EE -E, 2. Now your answer comes up 0, point, actually zero zero four five six. On the test, that answer will be nowhere to be found. Okay, if it's multiple choice. If it's short answer, you put that in there, you're going to get it wrong. You have to put the answer into scientific notation. So we're going to have to move our decimal. Now, notice the number is less than 1. So because of that, our exponent is going to be negative. So we're going to move the decimal 1, 2, 3. Remember, scientific notation has the decimal between the first two numbers. So the number in front of the decimal has to be between 1 and 9. Nothing else. It can't be a 0. It can't be a 15. It can't be 25. It can't be 205. It has to be, so when you write your number out, it's got to be between the first two numbers. So this is going to be 4.56. Now I moved that decimal three places to the right. So it's a negative 3. I know it's negative because that original number is less than 1. Now, if that was 456, we'd be moving it to the left and our decimal would be, or our, our exponent would be positive. Okay. So this is how you would report your answer for this one. Well, that's the end of the scientific notation review.